Jaden uh, is being persistent. He emailed me this a couple of times. I will show it this time around. Jaden says, and this is a good one. I've actually wanted to show this one in a long time. So thank you, Jaden. Hello, Lars. Is it possible to download materials for appearances uh, command that is not already listed in the browser? What Jaden is talking about is, if you go back over here to the speaker that we just created, created the volume, but I created kind of like a speaker case here. And let's just jump over to our normal solid environment. If you hit A on your keyboard, A for Apple or Appearances, you get this Appearances catalog. What Jaden is asking is, can you uh, download uh, different materials in here? And so there's different materials already in here. Click on Fabric, and we can see that there's some different fabrics. Um, and you can, of course, just up here, you can choose if you're going to do it on a face or body. I'm just going to select face, and let's take a light brown fabric. Drag that over there, and you will see that we get a kind of fabric-looking um, appearance. Um, now, before I get into Jaden's too much, you should know about this because this is kind of magic. Um, if you right-click on this, you can edit it, and you can actually play with it. So you can scale that fabric up and down. Um, you can rotate it if you wanted some kind of angle. Uh, change roughness, and if you hit advanced, you will actually see that um, it kind of appears in here um, with a, a different image. And I'm going to come back to this just in a second. Now, if you scroll down here, you'll see there's many different ones in here, including metal, liquids, um, and, and, and for example, paint. You'll see me using something like glossy paint many times. Drag uh, a green over on that face. Um, and let's just add one more. You will see that there is stone, roofing, woods. There's a lot of woods in here. Uh, we can go in and see that there's some different uh, types in here. Now, anytime that you see that there's an arrow, that means that these can be downloaded. So they were not installed with Fusion, but if you click on them, then three, two, one, boom, they're installed. And if I drag this over, we now have a particle board on the back. And of course, this is where, again, like I just showed, if you right click and hit edit, that it's nice that you can scale it because, um, you know, this may be if you have a big table or something like that. So that's extremely useful. All this stuff I'm showing to you here, um, of course, is cool for the model here, but it really becomes prone when you get into the render environment. And we've been in the render environment before. Um, it, it shows, it, it slows down my recordings. I'm not going to go in there right now. I have videos on it. I'm not going to go into that. Now let's get to Jaden's question. Can you download more materials in here? Not as far as I know, but, but that should always be a but. Uh, I actually think that we can do something that is a little bit cooler than just download some materials. There is probably materials out there that you can download in there um, because it is customizable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, and this is something, like I said, most of the times we're talking about appearances, um, when you see it in CAD software, it is to get it into the rendering environment where we can make realistic renderings of our designs, right? Um, so what happens, Autodesk have other softwares for this, uh, like RAD or VRAD and other programs. Um, but what you can actually do is you can create your own materials in here, and that's when things becomes uh, really cool. So what I did, I was looking around my house for uh, a material that I thought could be interesting. Um, so you could also, of course, just go out on, on Google and you could find different material. This was a picture I took of my guitar case. Um, I hope somebody have noticed that I'm wearing, maybe not wearing my PRS t-shirt uh, today. Um, so. I took a picture of a guitar. I was looking for something interesting. I think that's my head shadow you can see right there. But what we can do in here that is super cool is with this, and this is actually what the pro renders do. Many times they will go out and find an image and they may be going to Photoshop, change it, cut things out, whatever they want. And then um, we could go in here, for example, we took that we saw that before, if we took this uh, fabric, if you right click and hit edit, 
and we go into advanced and we click on this image, um, we can actually change the source for this image. So if I click on this, you will see that now I can go to my download and I can find that image of, uh, of that appearance. And you can do all different kinds of things in here, set it up, scale it, whatever you want. Um, and now you will see that it has actually done that. Now you will see that it did it as all different kinds of squares. So maybe I do need to go in and do some adjustments in here in regards to, to scaling it up. So you can start scaling it. Um, we could probably actually also just go in here. Let's see. So we have that. Close that out. Oh, it didn't stick. Oh, uh, let's go in and do that again. Advanced. It didn't stick. Select that. Open the file. I was thinking if there's something in there where I can do it a little quicker than starting to put numbers in. Translucency. All right, let's try to see here. What happens if we make this 500? That was too big, huh? Five hundred millimeters. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Five hundred by five hundred as a scale. Start looking interesting. Two hundred fifty. Right. So now we start seeing uh, that appearance happening in here. So we could just play with it until we get something that we are happy with. 100. No, it's got to be bigger than that. 200. Okay, and then we can we can offset it. We can do different we can do different things. But this is how you can do this. We can hit apply to that. Now it's going to stick. And uh, and then know that if you right click here you can now say that you want to add this to your favorites. And if I click add it to my favorites, then over here in my favorites folder, that will, uh, that will appear over there. And now I have it. So whenever I want to add it to another side, I can add it to there and you can play with it. So that's one way that you can add different materials in here. Play around with it, adjust it, uh, click on it, and, uh, and you should be able to see that you can get some, some pretty cool... Uh, Pretty cool materials and appearances in there. You can completely make your own. Hope that was useful, Jaden. Glad that I finally got that one answered. All right. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Leave the comments. Subscribe. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these. Um, what are we? We're about half an hour in and so. Just trying to get through some of my emails. And hopefully you will find it useful.